Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. Welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Arthur Schaefer, and I have another wonderful guest joining us today. We have Lori Van, who is a counselor, speaker, and a consultant when it comes to helping people. So without further ado, let's bring out Lori Van. Lori, how are you doing today? I am doing well. Thank you very much. Awesome. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your business and yourself? Well, I've, I'm at Van & Associates Coaching, Counseling, and Consulting that is in Texas. And we are able to do coaching, counseling, consulting, whether that's in our office or online, virtually. Uh, in addition to those services, I'm also a professional speaker and trainer for a variety of mental health issues and a five-time author uh, and creator of the Self-Injury Prevention and Intervention Program. Wow. And have you always been, you know, interested or passionate about helping others, or has something kind of grown into as you've gotten older? It is something that I've always been passionate about, that since I was a kid, I had an idea I was going to be a counselor. It was just a natural fit. All my friends would come to me with their problems, and I just seemed to be able to sit down and break things out for them and come up with uh, logical solutions. And it just sort of continued along that path of different opportunities and been very blessed. I'm, I'm very you know, grateful to have found this calling. That's beautiful. And what type of background does someone need to basically be a counselor like yourself? Well, in, it depends on the state. Different states have different licensing rules, but for Texas and for most states, you have to have at least a master's degree in counseling, psychology, something along those lines, and then you go through an internship process. And that could be, such as in the state of Texas, where you take an exam, uh, first and foremost, and then you start on your 3,000 hours of internship and then once you've completed those different steps, you get to be fully licensed. Okay. And um, has COVID affected your business? Initially, there was uh, a little bit of a, a blip on it because we had to convert over to telehealth services, and we didn't know if insurance was going to address that or not. And thankfully, very thankfully, the insurance companies that I've been on have all stepped up and they're fully covering uh, teletherapy and at the rates that as if someone were in the office. But honestly, I didn't really experience too many dips in my practice. And if anything, this past July has been the busiest July for clients that I have had in the 20 plus years of being a counselor. And that is definitely a direct result of COVID and all of the anxiety and the depression and just a slew of other things that have been coming up mental health-wise for my clients. Okay. Um, And how do you see, you know, your business growing um, in the near future? Well, I'm continuing to grow the business of taking on more counselors into my practice. But the focus has really been expanding some of the online services. For example, with all this going on, I had self-injury support groups that were in the office. Well, could no longer do that. So now they're online. And the beauty is is that now anyone in the United States and Canada, and I guess technically the world for that matter, can now join the self-injury support groups that I offer for teenage girls, for women, and the caregivers that self-harm. So I'm going to continue to grow that outlet. I've also created a private Facebook group for those interested in learning more about that behavior. And then I'm absolutely expanding it, uh, getting my program into hospitals, treatment centers, school districts, colleges, and creating some additional programs such as uh, some of my upcoming books that I'm currently writing are on perfectionism and helping businesses identify problems with that, but also, of course, schools and colleges in dealing with that, that particular behavior. 
Oh, wow. Okay. So you're doing so many things, Lord. And how can my audience, you know, get in touch with you regarding the services that you're providing and will provide in the future? Probably the simplest ways. Uh, I can go to the one of the websites, vanassociates.com, V-A-N-N, associates.com. You can most definitely find me on social media. On Instagram, it's at Lori Van LPCS. I have a YouTube channel that's the same, Lori Van uh, LPCS, and on LinkedIn. And then I have the Van and Associates Facebook page. And if they're interested in the self-injury piece, they can type in NSSI, non-suicidal self-injury, and find the group that I have started for that. And you can always give me a call at 214-270-6966 or email me. Awesome. Thank you, Lori, for coming on our station, taking some time out of your day to do this segment with us and helping people, especially during this pandemic. It speaks a lot to your character. Thank you. Well, thank you for this opportunity to share the information. My pleasure.